TJ Holmes disclosed that he had the capacity to consume more than 18 beverages in a single day, following the criticism he received for his relationship with Amy Robach. In the latest episode of their podcast Amy and T.J, which aired on Thursday, the duo confessed to being shocked by the amount they drank during 2023, which they referred to as their version of the COVID-19 pandemic, after losing their respected jobs at GMA3. Roback explained, I didn't have a job to go to, and I was away from many friends and family. We were keeping a low profile. So what did I do? I drank a lot. A lot more than ever before. I don't think I've ever got a whole year where I drink every single day, and that was 2023 for me. The 50-year-old former anchor clarified that she wasn't getting wasted or drunk every day, but rather maintaining a constant buzz or heightened state of mind during a year filled with anxiety. Holmes, 46, agreed that he also needs to reassess his relationship with alcohol, which prompted them to disclose the extent of their drinking habits before turning over a new leaf. While Roback admitted to consuming over 30 drinks a week, Holmes stated that he could easily consume 18 drinks in a day. Although Roback found Holmes' number to be quite high, he explained that as big runners, they engage in what they call runs to fun, where they run several miles and end up at a bar. Now we run at 8 or 9 in the morning, and when I return, we have a beer, Holmes explained, mentioning that due to these runs to fun, he is typically already on his second drink by lunchtime. After lunch, they usually have at least two more drinks, unless they have errands to run. Holmes then stated that he could easily have a drink in his hand from 2 in the afternoon until 7, 8, 9, or even 10 at night. So if you calculate those numbers, that's a drink per hour for another 8 hours, or even less. But that's another 8 hours of having a drink in hand, plus the However, the couple emphasized that the official guidelines state that one drink is equivalent to one beer, a five-ounce glass of wine, or one and a half ounces of liquor. Therefore, Holmes is not necessarily consuming 18 drinks, but rather accounting for heavy pours. In addition to examining their drinking habits, the couple also assessed their monthly alcohol expenses, which surprised them both. After calculating the amount spent on the alcohol delivery app Dre Isley and their receipts from bars, Holmes disclosed that they had spent $2,869 on alcohol in December 2023 alone. Holmes further mentioned, this amount does not include the occasional trips we made to a liquor store. The couple shared their story with listeners in order to encourage others to be honest about their own relationship with alcohol. While Holmes has previously participated in Dry January, Roback revealed that this is her first time taking on the challenge. She admitted that she wouldn't have had the courage to do it without her partner's support. I'm not sure if I would have felt comfortable or, to be honest, brave enough to declare, I am completely giving up alcohol this month, if you hadn't said, I'm doing it too, and we can do it together, 